First off, if you haven't watched my Hey email review video, you should actually go and take a look at that one first. So let's walk through how to replicate not all of the fancier hey.com email features, but a little bit of the features right here in Gmail and G Suite. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk about labels. I'm gonna talk about auto, auto filtering so you can forward you know, marketing emails to a news folder or a marketing folder or like they call the feed in Hey how to forward receipts automatically to like a, a paper trail sort of thing and stuff like that. And also how to segment your inbox to be more like this in, hey, you can do it. It's not exactly the same, but you can do a bunch of the same features. So first up, let's talk about labels. You can see I have some labels over here. I have like sales, notifications, I have receipts that I save, and I have news, which is like all my marketing emails. I don't actually wanna see these in my inbox. I want them to automatically go here. So the few, a few things you can do. First of all, you can add them from your settings. If you go to your settings, see all settings. There should be one called labels. This is where you can move them up or down. You can show or hide some of the default ones. You can see a bunch of these I have turned off to hide. And then I have my other ones down here, like news, receipts, uh, sales, stuff like that. Show, show, show. You can edit these, you can remove them. You can also click over here to edit their label colors. You can show only if there are unread emails and some stuff like that. So let's uh, go ahead and jump ahead to forwarding. This is the cool part where this is not what I want. I don't want to be like overwhelmed by all this stuff. Uh, let's see, Brian Harris right here. So I want his stuff to go, I don't want it to come to the inbox. This is a marketing email. I want it to go to a marketing thing. There's a few ways you can do this. Number one, if you have the email open, you can actually click this right here, filter messages like these. And specifically, you can uh, choose emails that have like a certain word or two in the subject line, or in our case, specifically from this sender, from this email is what I wanna do right here. So uh, that's kind of what Hey does, by the way. So I'll do that, I'll hit create filter. And for our purposes, this is what I like to do. You can actually do a bunch of stuff here. You could automatically delete it. <laughs> you could automatically mark it as red. Maybe that would be one way to keep it out. I like to automatically apply a label here. I'm gonna click news. It's gonna automatically apply it to news. And if you want, you can automatically, oh yeah, look, also apply to matching, five matching conversations that are sitting in my inbox. Now, if you leave it like this, you're actually gonna still see it in your inbox. I like to automatically archive it, skip the inbox. So I never actually see it in my inbox. It just goes straight to news right here. I'll hit create filter and then done and done and done. Now, whenever that email address uh, sends me anything, it won't come to my inbox, it'll go to news. So that's one way you can do it. You can also edit these in bulk, or not in bulk rather, but uh, in your general settings, it has a tab for filters. And you can see all the ones you have. I have some from, well, there's a bunch of them actually, but this is where you can delete them, you can remove those filters, you can add new by clicking create a new filter, uh, so on and so forth. Now, let's, let's get a little bit fancier here. This is like the default layout. You can see I have some social promotions, the primary inbox. The thing I really like about Hey is the ability to have all your unread emails up top. And I love the stacks, right? Where you can have a reply later folder or you can have a, whatever this is called, set aside. Like I love these little stacks down here. It's actually pretty awesome. So let's try and like replicate this a little bit. If you actually go to settings down here, even in the quick settings, you don't have to go look around for it. You can do a few things first. You could do unread emails first. That will, it, it's exactly what it sounds like actually. It just makes your unread emails up top and then down below it, it has everything else. That's just like the, the hey layout, right? That's exactly what their inbox looks like. But we can actually take this a few steps further and create some different panels or a priority inbox. So if I do priority inbox, let's see what this looks like right here. It's showing important and unread emails. And then underneath that, it has my starred emails. And then underneath that, it has everything else. You can actually customize this quite a bit. Right there, you can add different stuff right here. Empty, you could add, uh, you know, sort how many items are shown, important, unread, star, more options. Okay, this is actually not my favorite though. Let's go back a little bit and I'm gonna show you a custom inbox with different stacks, just like the Hey stuff. So I come down here, multiple inboxes. I'm gonna choose that and I'm actually going to customize it. I'll click customize. You can see it opened up a few uh, different panes right there. 
And this, you won't see this by default. It'll say is starred, is drafts. You can kind of set this up, is unread, stuff like that. And if you want to learn more about what you could put in here, by the way, you click this help more and then I think it actually brings up, yeah, it brings up a help pane, search criteria. Open this one up and look at that. But I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. So let's say I wanted to see all of my, let's say I created one called reply later. For now, let's just uh, click receipts. Or no, it's just that, uh, let's say we wanted to do the paper trail, right? Just like, hey, email does the paper trail. We want, I wanna see my receipts. Look right here. You can actually just copy and paste this into those inbox settings. So I just copied that right there, label colon receipts. And if I come back here and go back to my multiple inbox settings, customize, let's, uh, let's do section one, section four, I'm gonna put in label receipts. You can already see I, I did that a second ago right here. You can do this for anything. You could have a reply later thing. You could have, I don't know, it's up to you really. You can see all your sales emails there. You can see all your marketing emails. You can create different stuff. You can move it around, you can rename it. You can choose how many conversations you see. Like let's say I, wanna, I only wanna do like five. You can choose where it is. Uh, you can do a bunch of stuff though. It's pretty cool, right? And so if I go back to the inbox, you should see these little stacks. There it is, just like that. And I can quickly access uh, unread emails, you can do that. You could do. You don't have to do drafts or start. You can choose whatever you want. You can kind of set it up. It's a little bit more complicated to set up. That's kind of what Hayes cool at, is it just has some of these features by default that is really easy to navigate, but it's also a lot more customizable than Hay, really. And so thanks for watching this video. There are a few other things you could do. Like you could see the possibilities now. You could get even fancier with this sort of stuff. But for now, let's just uh, leave it at that, I think. I do still think Hey is worth paying for, by the way, just as a conclusion. I am gonna be paying for it. My trial has five days left, but I'm definitely gonna pay for it. Just because I, I love the way it feels and it looks, and I love the screen first time senders. I love the really easy, easy, easy ways to add comments, to change subject lines. Like all the features put together make this a no-brainer. <laughs> a no-brainer at like, eight, nine dollars a month or, or whatever it is. That, that, that's actually pretty affordable in terms of tools. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please drop me a comment. I'd love to hear whether you're gonna go with Hey, you're gonna stick with Gmail or whatever else you use and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There you go. Adios, my friends. See you later. Adios.